Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to be decluttering my lipstick collection. Now, I'm not going to do the full declutter standing up here, because it's not going to be the best. So before we move over and do it on my actual vanity, I just wanted to show you how everything's set up here. And if you've seen my everyday makeup baskets, you probably already know this, but we're just going to go through real quick. So, this drawer right here has my lip liners and other kind of random lip stuff. This drawer has all of my lip glosses, not too many. This drawer has all of my nude and or nude adjacent lipsticks. This drawer has all of my red and pinky red lipsticks. This drawer, which desperately needs to be decluttered, has all of my black and green lipsticks. And this bottom drawer is kind of just everything else. <laughs> I think having it organized this way is going to really help with the declutter because now I can actually see, you know, how many shades of nude, how many reds, you know, that I have. So I think this is going to go really well. So let's go ahead and switch over to my vanity. Alrighty, so I've got the first two small drawers here. I really don't think we're going to be decluttering too much from these at least because there isn't much to begin with. <laughs> So let's start with the lip liners. I think, really, I think these are already pretty minimal. One thing I do want to declutter, because I didn't like it as much as I thought I would, this is the Milani Rose Balm. I kind of was using it as a regular, like, lip balm, but really it's like a stain, and so when I put it on like a regular lip balm, it made me look kind of crazy, because I had, like, a uh, just pink stain all around my mouth. I look like a three-year-old. <laughs> and it's not that moisturizing, so it doesn't look good. It's not that moisturizing, so I'm going to go ahead and just declutter this. All right, let's see. I don't use this, and I'm sure it's probably bad by now. Oh, that smells bad. Okay, yep, so this is gonna be decluttered. This is the Wet n Wild Lip Scrub, and it's old. It's old, so that needs to go to the trash. <laughs> I think this is my only sharpener that I have. I should probably get another one. Well, that's gonna be on my list of things to get later, uh, so I need a new sharpener. Um, let's look at the actual colors for the lip liners we've got here. I've got one green, so I'll keep the green. I really like this nude one from Marc Jacobs, and it's a mini, so I'll keep that one. I only have one red, so we'll keep the red. This one I don't like as much. This is from Milani, and it's a little hard, and it's a, like a, a sharpenable pencil, so I'll declutter that one. Let me see, do I really need all of these? These two are actually fairly close in shade. I don't know why I have both of them. Let me just do a little swatch. Do a little swatch. Okay, one's light pink and one's more of a dark nude. Okay, those are actually... Okay, you know, I'll keep those. And then I just used this a while ago. It's actually a nice shade right there. And let's see, if this one's too close to either of these... Those are actually fairly different. All right, fine. So I'll keep those. So we only decluttered a couple of things, but I barely use this drawer, so. All right, moving on to the lip glosses. All right, I have to keep the, the ColourPop and Sailor Moon lip glosses just because I love that collection. So we're gonna keep those. I adore this Dior lip gloss. It's so pretty, it was way too expensive but it's really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that. Hmm. I never wear glosses that are like this hot pink. And I think I got this in a Try Beauty box. This is from The Balm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm ever really gonna wear that. So I'm gonna declutter this. I'm gonna keep this e.l.f. Alyssa Ashley gloss. This looks really pretty, and this is actually so pigmented. It doesn't even look like a gloss, really. It's almost like a glossy, like, lipstick, but it's very pretty. I'll keep that one. I don't know if I want to keep this Wet n Wild one. Okay, that's pretty. Uh, okay, I'll keep it. <laughs> uh, the NYX Butter Glosses. Do I really need this? It looks... I could probably mix these two and get that. Yeah. And this one's pretty old too, so I'll need to clutter that with butter gloss. This one's a brand new one that I got in like a little sample kit. 
I got like a little sample freebie from Ulta, I think, with my last order. Could you come off? Jesus. Well, that wasn't pretty. Hmm. Am I gonna use that shade? Well, I'll, I, it's, since I just opened it, I'll keep that at least for a little bit. Now this Oh Honey lip gloss, I really like it from Shop Miss A, but they like redid the packaging on it. Ooh, it smells kind of off. Oh yeah, I think that actually went bad. Oh no. But they, I was gonna say, I, I was thinking about getting rid of this because I wanted to get, because it's only a dollar. I wanted to try out the new packaging because it looked really nice. So I think, I mean, this one went bad, unfortunately. So but I do really like that lip gloss. All right, and this is everything we have left for lip glosses. All right, so here is a drawer that could use a lot of work. So like I said, these are like nudes and nude adjacents. So like some berry-ish things in here. Anyway, let's get it all out and start going through it. All right, so let's pick out some things that are gonna be an easy keep for me. Uh, first of all, Fenty. I absolutely adore this shade. This is in the shade Unbutton keep the Fenty. I'm gonna keep these YSLs lip stains because these are actually, despite being pretty expensive, these are some of the prettiest and most comfortable lip stains I've ever tried, ever. So those are gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the Stila Stay All Day in Carmelo. It's a really pretty shade and I do like mini lip products. All right, so I am decluttering all my Jeffree Star shit. So this is going bye-bye. This is in the shade Celebrity Skin. Goodbye, good riddance. Um, what is this color pop? Bullet lipstick and boy. Uh, okay, well, let's see. What other bullet lipsticks? Let me, sh yeah, that might actually help if I split out the bullet lipsticks from the liquid so I can compare the shades that we've got going on. So let me get this MAC. This is in the shade something. Flesh pot. Oh, that sounds gross. <laughs> Oh, but that's a prettier version of that ColourPop one. They're so close. I don't need both. And I think I got this free as a back to MAC. <sighs> well, let's shade, Let's watch the other ones. So this is a MAC in Velvet Teddy. So this is like a darker. Not like a nude on me. Well, that's nice. This is from Urban Decay. And this is the shade Fuel. Another darker one. Huh. Not, the same as, not the same as Flesh Pot. Definitely different. This is old. Actually, at this point, I feel like I should probably get rid of this one. But it's so pretty. I love this shade. <laughs> this is from Tom Ford, and it's a little mini, obviously. This is in the shade Indian Rose. This is such a pretty shade. But it actually looks pretty similar to Flesh Pot. Just, like, a little lighter. And it's some, it, this is, like, some of the most comfortable bullet lipsticks I've ever tried. Was this from Tom Ford? But it's old. Like, I think I had this back when I worked like the bookstore which was over two years ago oh, I should get rid of that one yeah I didn't want to but I had to all right and then last we have this oh I don't like that shade oh that looks looks kind of muddy doesn't it oh okay so we're gonna declutter this elf one uh, I want to keep the max I'm gonna declutter the ColourPop because uh, the Mac looks prettier and then we'll keep the Urban Decay Fuel This is so much easier to clutter when I actually have all the shades, like, organized. Who would have thought, Monica, that organizing it by shade would help you find overlap? <laughs> I'm being incredibly facetious. Facetious. This is what happens when I spend all day working and I start filming at, like, 7 o'clock. Alrighty. So, uh, this is unique. This is from Melt, and this is actually a very pretty... Let me swatch it all the way over here. I actually wore this in a video and I really liked it and I got some uh, bad feedback on it. <laughs> so I probably won't wear it for filming, but I really do like that shade. All right, let's see. This I actually really like. This is from Wander Beauty and I believe I also got this in a Try Beauty box. That's just a really comfortable pencil and it's a really pretty shade. And it's got a built-in lip liner. Like it's a nice lipstick with a lip liner that matches. It's just so nice. So I'm gonna keep that. All right, let's see, Gerard Cosmetics. Ooh, it's a little messy. 
Oh, wow, that's nice and pretty and dark. Oh, oh, it's like leaking. It's got like oils coming out. That's a bit weird. Okay. And then this one's from Pure. Huh. Those, they're not exactly the same, but they're, eh, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Those are nudies. Am I ever going to wear this shade? I don't think I'm ever, it's pretty, but I don't think I would ever wear that kind of lilac, light purple shade. So that's going to go. And that was from the Shop Miss A AOA Studio line. I think I'm going to declutter the pure because it felt really dry on my hand. So we'll keep, get rid of that. I'll keep the Gerard. I like the shade, but I'm a bit worried about it leaking. So I might have to just like mix it up. Give it a good mix. And then put it back. So when it comes to these, this is Dose of Colors. What shade are you? That's a really pretty light nude shade. Let's try Wet n Wild. That's just really pretty, and I really do like this shade. So this is Nudie Patootie from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna keep that one. That one's a bit unique. It's like a, a dead nude on me. <laughs> Makes me look kind of dead, but I like it. Uh, this is from Sugar Pill. Ooh, I haven't seen this one in a while. Ooh. Oh, it smells good too. That's pretty. Okay, we're gonna keep that one. I'm gonna keep the Dose of Colors. It's a nice light shade. And this Physician's Formula Healthy Lip. I mean, that's a pretty shade too. But it looks very close. Well, not super close, but it looks a little too close to the Dose of Colors one. Hmm. It's a little darker. Yeah, and the physician, the physician's formula one is a little old. Like I've had these healthy lips for a while, so I think I'm gonna get rid of that one and I've got the dose of colors I'll keep. All right, and then these AOA ones, it's a little drying, but they are really pretty for filming. So let me just swatch the shades. That peach one looks a little too close. I'm gonna get rid of this peach shade. Let's swatch these nudie shades. Ooh, that's a little clumpy. It's a little bit of a light kind of concealer shade right there, isn't it? And then... Mm, this one looks a little too close to what I already have. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep this one from AOA, and this is shade 30. I think it's called 30. <laughs> oh my god, I actually just read this. I think this is a concealer. <laughs> it looks like a lipstick. Is this it? Is this a concealer? I think this is a concealer. How did it end up in my lipstick drawer? <laughs> okay, um, well this is gonna get moved to my concealers, I guess. Yeah, it's called Wonder Cover. I'm gonna double check on this. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Alright, and I'm really happy with this one. So this is the nude and nude berry adjacent drawer. And so far, this is everything we're decluttering. All right, so here we are with the red lipsticks and like close to red lipsticks. I honestly thought I had more red lipsticks than this, but uh, maybe we'll find them later, but I guess this is it for now. Uh, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna really, really do too much here, but let's take them out. All right, first things first, quick and easy, Jeffree Star, a goodbye. Let's see, the Besame. Uh, cosmetics one I spent way too much money on this to uh, get rid of it and I don't really wear it so uh, I gotta keep it <laughs> all right the this is the brand new one to my collection this is the Stila uh, stay all day in Beso, which is AOC's lipstick color so I got it and I really like it so I'm gonna keep it do, do, uh, a classic that I absolutely adore this is the Fenty uncensored it is you know hyped up for a reason it's really really good all right, let's see. I got some minis here. This Burberry mini. I mean, I don't wear that, and it's so sheer. Yeah, I don't need this one. So we're going to get rid of that. Let's check out these YSL minis. Oh, that's pretty. we got to keep that one. Let's try this one. Ooh, God, you see, these are so pretty. And I think these are the same lip stains that I had full size in my nudes drawer, so... Oh, they're so nice. They're so nice. 
All right, so I mentioned the other Healthy Lip, the nude shade, that I thought it was pretty old. And while I really like these shades, especially this one, this is like the perfect holiday red. Boom. Oh. I mean, this one smells okay. Oh, I just really like how that shade looks. But it's so old. Mm, okay. I'm gonna let myself keep this shade just because it's really pretty and then I'll get rid of the other healthy lip one. <laughs> All right, Wet n Wild Missy and Fierce, a great drugstore favorite. Look how pretty that is. Gonna keep it. All right, now these AOA ones. Mm, these two, I don't know. These look more like pinky kind of purpley shades. I don't know if I would wear that. Eh, that one's not wowing me. Get rid of that one. This one. Eh, again, it's not wowing me. These two shades look gorgeous though. This look like a, an orange. Oh, look at that. It's like a coral. Oh, that's pretty. We'll keep that one. And then this bright hot red. Hmm. That looks so similar to the Missy and Fierce shade. Mm. It seems like I have a repeat. Yeah, if I have a repeat, I don't need it. So I'm going to declutter this one. All right, so we did good with our red lipsticks. This is everything that we have left. Right, so here we are with the drawer that is going to take, I think, the most amount of time. <laughs> this is the black and green lipstick drawer. And of course, I have so many of these because I love to do the best and worst of black lipsticks. And I've also started doing green as well. So lipsticks that I've thought were like shit in my last couple of review videos. I have a whole playlist. I'll throw that up in the cards, but I didn't declutter any of them yet. <laughs> so we, sh we could probably get rid of like half of these. So let's go. All right, so I can pick out a few easy ones right out the bat. All the Jeffree Star. Goodbye. I got a black, I got a green, I got a white, I got a green. Those are all going. And let me, would it be easier to do this by green? Yeah, let me separate these out by black and green. Black, black, black. All right, let's do the greens first. Wait, I think this is a black. Is this black? Yeah, okay, that one goes over there. So, greens first. Um, right off the bat, I actually really like the uh, the Fenty Mademoiselle green. It's a very pretty shade. So I'm going to keep that one. The Carity one, it was like just okay, and I'm not a huge fan of like that shade. So I think I'm going to declutter this one. This uh, Wet Cherry Gloss is actually super pretty. Um, and since it's that green, I kept it in here and not in my gloss drawer, but it's like really, really pretty. So keeping that one. Let me see. This is from Notoriously Morbid. And it's, oh, this is a black. Nope, it's a green. <laughs> it's a duochrome. <laughs> so it's really pretty. Gotta keep it. All right, I hated this Sephora li lipstick. It's not even a green, it's like a teal blue, so that's gonna go. Um, This Menagerie Cosmetics, I think was actually surprising how much it was, how nice it was. So we'll take that one. Um, Here's the actual just regular matte green from Notoriously Morbid. Very pretty shade. Right, then our two bullet lipsticks. This one I don't think I've done in a, did I do this one in a video yet? I honestly cannot remember. But this is the KVD Vegan Beauty with Kindness Vegan and Beauty. It looks okay. And then we've got our Cash Money. That's actually a pretty shade from Sephora. Um, I think I had another shade from Sephora, but it was trash. So that one just immediately got thrown out. So I'll keep both of these. 
All right, on to the black lipsticks. So now I'm just going to remember what I liked from my videos. Um, this one came in too late for me to use in a video. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. So I'm going to keep this one because it's going to be in the next video that I do. Um, I really did not like these bullet ones. NYX and Maybelline. This Rimmel Stay Matte also was not good. Um, the Zofra one was pretty nice. I'll keep the Ofra. Let me see. My favorites overall are these bad buddies right here. <laughs> We've got the um, Pretty Zombie Cosmetics and Black Cat. We've got the uh, Sleepwalker shade from Black Moon. And then we got the KVD Vegan Beauty black shade. Those are really nice. Let's see, I remember the ColourPop one being decent, but you can't like get this anymore, which is pretty shitty. I'll hold on to it. And I remember really liking this Sephora one. So if you're upset you can't get the ColourPop one, the Sephora is actually a good alternative that is like available right now and still like under $10. So get that Sephora one. Uh, this one was trash, the Rimmel. Uh, the Fenty one. This one was all right. Meh. Nah. Should, should I keep it? I'll keep it. All right, that NYX suede is like super pigmented, so I think I might keep it just for other uses. The Carity, I wasn't a huge fan of. That can go. The Juvia's Place was just like meh. Yeah, it looks pigmented, but it wasn't really good wearing, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Um, Menagerie. I think the black one was pretty decent. Ooh, that is so pigmented. I tell you, my hand is a mess. And notoriously morbid. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. All right, and so this is everything in the green and black drawer that we are keeping, and my hand, which is a mess. <laughs> and. This is everything we've decluttered so far. We've got one more drawer to go. All right, so this is our miscellaneous drawer. Let's get going. So right off the bat, I really want to cut right off the bat, uh, bad joke. I really want to keep the ColourPop and Sophia lipsticks. They're really pretty. I love the aesthetic. I got the whole collection, so I would like to keep those. I do want to keep the ColourPop and Sailor Moon ones because I just really like Sailor Moon and they're cute. <laughs> I gotta keep Rebel Rose. This is like my, one of my favorite lipsticks of all time is Wet n Wild in Rebel Rose. It is gorgeous. I'm gonna just watch it just for fun. But like, how pretty is that shade? It's just mwah. Beautiful. All right, this, I barely wear this. It's a really pretty shade, but I just don't wear this lipstick. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear this. Um, this is from MUA, which is, I believe, the CVS makeup brand. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Am I ever, again, a shade I'm never gonna wear. Am I gonna wear blue? Am I ever gonna wear a blue lipstick? I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that one. That's from the AOA Studio line. I really like, of course, the Fenty ones that I own. This one is the hot pink. Look how hot, 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 hot pink that is. Stunning. And coral, coral. That is so beautiful. Those are like your go-to summer lipsticks. They're stunning. All right, so this little Fenty Mini is the Griselda shade, which is so beautiful. Like this is a stunning lipstick shade. Ooh. This little YSL mini is just a hot, hot pink. And it's so sheer. I don't need this. I don't need this mini. Let's get rid of this mini. All right, so what is this? This is Suva Beauty. I think I also got this in a recent Trab Beauty box. Huh. It's a pretty shade. All right, so I already have a hot pink, so I don't think I need another hot pink. These are all from AOA, so I'll get rid of this one. 
Let's swatch these two bad boys. Mm, that was just like a less vibrant version of the coral from Fenty, so I don't need this one. And you. What are you? Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a lighter version. Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. <laughs> Alrighty, and here is everything left in the miscellaneous drawer. And overall, this is everything I'm decluttering. <sighs> I feel really good. I feel like we really cleaned out everything. My lipsticks are so much more organized. And then hopefully once I set up my new vanity area, I'll have another set of Alex drawers because I kind of want to move away from using the, the big plastic containers on top. I would really just have, I'd like to have everything in an Alex drawer. And I think we can do that a lot better now. So that is it for this uh, lipstick declutter. Let me know down below if you guys like declutter week so far, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.